saddled with a lot of debt and even bigger inventories that um, East India Company needed to unload a lot of tea. So Parliament lowered the tax on company-owned tea and let the company undercut the smugglers. So the colonists didn't like this. They thought it would give the East India Company a monopoly. Colonial merchants with their smuggled tea would be ruined, and the company would then tighten its grip on the marketplace, creating what they called a monster, as one colonist said, quote, too powerful for us to control or contend with, and too rapacious and destructive to be trusted, or even see without horror that they may be able to devour every branch of our commerce, drain us of all our property and substance, and wantonly leave us to perish by thousands. So like, you know, the colonists, they were a little excitable, obviously, but these worries, they moved people to action and prompted a crowd to find its way to Griffin's Wharf in Boston, where agitators boarded some ships with newly imported tea and tossed it all overboard.